The city of Bemidji is taking another step forward towards an environmental friendly future. The city today unveiled more accessibility for electric vehicle owners. Our Brenda Mack has that story. <laughs> the future is now. Electric car owners will now have more access to Bemidji as the city installs three charging stations for electric vehicles around town. While there might not be that many electric vehicles around right now, we know that the number of electric vehicles is increasing every day. And we as a community want to be prepared for that, whether that's for our citizens or for our visitors. These charging stations are strategically located in popular areas in the city by Paul and Babe, Downtown City Hall and another in Bemidji State University. Part of our vision is to participate as best we can as a community in local and regional efforts uh, for sustainability and green initiatives and to find a way as a city to help develop infrastructure for the electric charging, car charging uh, industry is important. These are level two chargers, which takes about three to four hours to charge a car like Nissan Leaf. The city hopes that this would bring in more visitors into the city and perhaps encourage more drivers to switch to electric cars. It's about 50% less than your standard gasoline vehicle um, as far as emissions production. The charging station here in BSU requires a permit for use, whereas two other locations here in Bemidji is paid for by the city. Something where there, if there's these leaders that really have this vision of how we need to change and how we need to um, conserve more resources, how we need to take care of Mother Earth, I think that just is such a, such a powerful uh, thing to do in a community. City officials say this will most likely fall under a separate electric bill to the city. They may roll out some fees if these stations are picked up quickly by the public. In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, Lickman News. This is all made possible through a citywide effort with BSU and Otter Tail Power. The city looks to continue environmental conservation efforts with its Green Step programs. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.